Hey y'all, welcome back to another NCLEX question of the day. Uh, we are in day two of pulmonary week. So let's look at our question here. Our question says, the nurse is observing a staff member caring for a client with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD. The nurse should intervene if the staff member is observed doing what? So we are looking for an action that we don't want to be done. Something, if we saw someone else doing it, we should stop, okay? Uh, option one says demonstrating pursed lip breathing for the client. Uh, this is not a correct option because this is something we want our clients with COPD to do. Okay, pursed lip breathing um, really helps prolong exhalation for these clients, which helps with air trapping that they may experience. Um, so it's a really good technique that these clients can use at home, um, you know, at work, whenever really. So we definitely want to encourage them to use that. Uh, option two says providing the client with information about smoking cessation. Uh, this is an incorrect option because it is something we want to do. So smoking really, really, really heavily contributes to development of COPD um, and also worsening of COPD. So we definitely need to encourage them to stop smoking. Um, we can encourage use of like gum or patches, those kind of things, but we really want to avoid smoking to prevent worsening of the condition. Okay. Uh, option three says administering albuterol to the client before meals. Uh, this is an incorrect option because it doesn't require intervention. Um, giving albuterol to clients with COPD before they eat um, can just help relieve their shortness of breath. It helps them conserve energy a little bit. Um, these clients really, really have low, um, low reservoirs, if you will. Like it doesn't take much activity to really wear them out. So anything we can do to kind of help, help increase that, um, that tolerance will be great. And then option four says hyperoxygenating the client before assisting the client to ambulate. Um, this would require intervention because it's something we don't want to do. So this makes it our correct answer. Um, clients with COPD function with a little bit lower of an SpO2 than normal. Um, so when we give high concentrations of oxygen or we hyper oxygenate these clients, we can actually cause carbon dioxide retention, um, which can cause other problems. So we definitely want to avoid that. We want to administer the lowest concentration and amount of oxygen possible to get our desired effect, whatever our prescribed, you know, ordered SpO2 goal is. Um, so we definitely want to be very wary of over hyper oxygenating these clients. So we'll see you tomorrow for another question.